In this example, we'll define R groups, position variation, and ring size controls with ChemDraw.js in Reaxis. Using the Indol system from a previous example, we'll define a more advanced system that includes R groups, ring size variation, and of course, the make or break rules. Working from the previous example, click Edit, zoom in. We want to install a series of halogens that appear along any one of these carbons using the position variation tool. Select these atoms. Underneath your R button, you'll notice this tool that installs an asterisk. Use your bond and attach it to that asterisk and draw that out. We're going to move this a little bit towards the right. Use your text tool and click on the bond and use your square brackets to define your atom list. In this case, we want this to be a series of halogens, fluorine, chlorine, bromine. Close the brackets and press enter. Transfer to the query and click find. This locates 1823 reactions. We'll hide conditions and scroll through some of these. You'll notice the halogens are what was defined as well as the positions as well are variable. We'll go back, click edit. Zoom in. We want to install a ring of variable size at that position. Simply hover above the bond and press 4 on your keyboard for a four-membered ring. Use your text tool. And at one of these carbons, you can define a repeating unit of variable size. Use your normal brackets or parentheses. Define your repeating unit the number of times to repeat, and press Enter. Next, we want to replace this atom list with an R group. Use your eraser tool and your text tool to define R1. To define the components for R1, we need to use an R table. First, let's define a series of values for R1. We want these to be a series of halogens again, a reaxis generic, and a carbonyl group. Hover above the bond, F for fluorine, B for bromine, and shift C for chlorine. We want this to be a generic. Simply select one end of this bond under Atom Properties, Generic Label, locate your hetero real group, and click OK. Next is the carbonyl. Press 2 on your keyboard. We want this to be an atom list here of nitrogen or oxygen. Use your text tool, use your square brackets, nitrogen, comma, oxygen, enter. Finally, we need to terminate or define the attachment points. Underneath your charge tool, locate the attachment point tool and simply click at any end of these groups. Finally, we need to define and enclose these in an R group table. So click your R group table and simply encapsulate all of these in your R group. We'll call this R1. Enter. And click Find. Click 
click view results and these should have a halogen at any one of these positions as well as a ring of variable size. We can once again hide conditions to evaluate some of these.